That tastes like a pretty good see you next Thursday. Or is it Tuesday? What distinguishes it between Tuesday and Thursday when you're trying to say... Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Boys Season 3. Definitely have to say this is probably the best season that they've done. Wow. Something that the show has done with each season is find better grasp, find better footing, find more structure to itself. The first season was something very much out of the box in terms of the whole hero superhero genre, but it really couldn't find where it was going. It had some decent episodes here and there and a lot of really good humor and a lot of really good dark spots, but that was more so what the show was known for, not the storytelling. And that's what the second season with the first and the finale of that season got real good. But everything in the middle was kind of middling and somewhat forgettable. Season 3 so far nails everything down and I think it's because they've got this structure of one single element being the revolving aspect which they kind of established with the whole popping heads thing in season 2. But in season 3 it is far far better constructed with Soldier Boy. Now for those of you who are my Supernatural followers I imagine you were pretty interested slash curious and maybe even a little excited to see Jensen Ackles finally doing something else besides Dean Winchester to make this reference relatable to you guys. This is the Demon Dean I wanted. This is the Demon Dean that I always wanted to see. Jensen Ackles is actually surprisingly good as Soldier Boy. Now, I didn't think that he would be bad in any means. I just thought that maybe after playing the same fucking character for 15 years, he kind of wouldn't have much versatility in terms of doing anything else. But he dips in to the asshole that is Soldier Boy. He breaks all of these molds that he's known for for his character as Dean Winchester as well as anything else he's done in the past. He's just such a great dick. This is the complete opposite of what Captain America is. He's almost like the Hydra version of him. Instead of believing in liberty, truth, and justice, this motherfucker cares about himself first and foremost, and what he believes is right, even though he tries to disguise it as being the right thing. He's got some dark, shadowy past. And that's probably one of the greatest improvements on this season. The Boys has had good character development for all of its cast over the years, but this season got everyone down. Mother's Milk becomes a very important character. Friend She is a very important character. Butcher has a little bit more of the backstory that we were established with his father. Huey has a level of development that is actually quite relatable to us as just regular people in terms of the idea, the want, and the almost insane jealousy that we all harbor, that we hide in ourselves to want to be like them. And when Huey gets introduced to Temp V, we see what would happen to a regular everyday person who could have those abilities, who could do those things that they wanted to do, not because they want any form of promotion or glory. They want to do it because they want the right thing. And to be a little bit sappy here, this gives another good take on the whole with great power comes great responsibility because Tem V is fucking awful. And it shows with the progression of the relationship between him and Starlight that he is so dead set on protecting her, he doesn't see that she doesn't need protecting, but it's actually damaging to be in this kind of mindset. Not only do the heroes get great development, but so do the villains. Homelander is once again a standout character in this show. His delve into madness is just brewing. It is so good to see him trying to take over Vought, really just delving into this I don't give a fuck about what you care about, I want what I want sort of mentality and attitude. I enjoyed his just depravity and insanity throughout. And some of the other characters get a little bit of side time. The Deep, once again, is just proving to be one of the most despicable loser characters this show, but another one who's also despicable and a loser is A-Train, and his arc is so good that I actually don't know how they can top it because they show just how selfish he is in terms of wanting what he thinks is the right thing for others, but truly it's just for himself. And for once he gets hit, he gets caught in the crossfire for his own actions and actions outside of his realm of power. And I actually have to say I enjoy that aspect of him and at how the season ends, I am curious as to which side he is on. And speaking of sides, the end of this season once again gives a banger of a finale. You're on your feet watching this. There's a bunch of surprises that I did not expect, and the resolution 
while being maybe a little bit on the side of Marvel in terms of kind of cutting it safe, I still enjoyed this finale. I enjoyed the entire season as a whole, and it's by far the best season that the boys have produced thus far. So in the end, I'm going to give season three of The Boys a six out of seven. I really enjoyed this season. I think that a lot of these episodes are really rewatchable. There was only maybe one episode in the entirety that was kind of like, eh, you could kind of skip it or there wasn't too much that happened in it. But every other episode had something happen, something fun, something funny, something dark, something action packed. And I got to give credit to Kripke and the writers for continuing to push this show beyond its boundaries. Maybe the hero gasm episode wasn't as woo as I thought it was going to be. Personally thought that there was a superhero that could make people just orgasm on the spot and I was like that is going to be a funny fucking episode. While it wasn't that, it was still kind of funny and I did like the build up to it. I just thought it'd be a little bit more except for the one scene with toilet cam that was probably what got them in a lot a lot a lot a lot of shit anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise see you next tuesday or is it thursday